Hello and welcome back, dear friends. It's me, Odo. We are back in our new campaign. New campaign? Why did I say new campaign? In our campaign of Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. Um, all the time I was thinking of how to recruit more men, and now I found it. Yay, there is a recruit button. <laughs> We can recruit footmen and archers. Okay, let's recruit all of them archers. And let's recruit some of the footmen. Like, all of them. Uh, interesting, they start in Canabras. Let's go there. Okay, can we... No, I don't want the third one. How can we... No. I want to mix these two. Can we just... I mean... Is there any, um, what's it called? Is there any help? How can we merge these two troops? I'm pretty sure about that we can merge these two. What's this button? Military. We got military one. We have 418 experience in this point um no i don't want to buy something i i want to i'm pretty sure this is possible <laughs> um is there some health uh some 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 help like no. <laughs> How can you merge troops more real? Like, is it possible to merge them? I'm pretty sure it should be possible. I mean, they're on the same spot. Oh, wait. Ha! We've done it. We are so great. Is this the front or the rear? Hmm. Let's put them like that. Or is this the problem? There is a level one demon army consisting of this fly. When we move there, will we get there? Okay, let's back there and let's do some camping. Why is he doing that? Is there 
Is there not someone who's better than that? Yeah, she's better than that. Mm-hmm. We don't do scroll scribing. Okay. So if I put you in this second position, no. Ah, okay, we could do this. Interesting. Begin rest. No! Ugh. Why do you only rest for one hour? Using to swap places with you for a day. What do you say, Lan? How would it feel to inhabit my golden shell in a world of plots, prejudice, and high expectations? Okay, um, can we just stop this? Can we? Oh, do we really have to? Ah, oh. eight hours passed. Okay, that's good. How about these guys? Ah, they can go again. Okay, so if we take a rest, it also skips a day for them. A unit of mercenaries serving Horgus Quirm has reached the troops with a chest full of gold coins and a message from Sir Horgus to score more victory. Except. Okay, first of all, we forgot something. We found some stuff. First of all, we found some weapons. A light hammer, which we don't need. Another light hammer, which we really don't need. Cold iron masterwork composite longbow. Then, is this better or worse than yours? Yeah, it's worse. Although this one is cold iron, so it circumvents the uh, damage reduction from demons. Hmm, we probably should take it as a third weapon or a second weapon or something. Okay, we found also some armor. Oh no, I forgot to sell this. Change out plus one. Interesting, you can't wear this. I could wear it, but it's less effective. It's also less effective than this one, I guess. You. You can't wear it, you can't wear it, you can't wear it, you... You can wear it. Uh, and it's better than the thing that you've got. Okay. Accessories. Okay, this hat is nice, but we don't have any bard in our round. What's this? Blood clarity. Whenever the wearer, wearer of this cloak of resistance plus two lands a killing blow, they gain immunity to mind affecting conditions for three rounds. Oh, that's nice. How about you take this? And what's that? Cloak of resistance plus one. 
let's give this to oh you already have one you also what's that look of the skies you also have one hmm then you how about you take it? that counterfeit on hammer's jewelry okay mm-hmm got stuff with us ah uh, yeah of course there was the street recipe I think there is the recipe moss pottage let's copy a recipe okay and there is some letter to a noble crusader. I hope this letter finds you in good health, Sir William. I see now, with great sadness, that you have quite forgotten and abandoned us. It's been three years since you visited your native lands, your father and your family crib. Last summer, some passers-by broke the lock on it. Of course, I already forgot to talk again. On it, and spent the night inside a steward, I installed a new lock and cleaned up all the wreckage. Your servant, who went missing, whom you inquired after in your previous letter, has indeed been seen, but at present his precise whereabouts are unknown. He came to us and looked at us with contempt, at something through his teeth, gathered taxes for you, at a whole goose for free at the tavern, jumped on his horse and galloped off. If he went missing somewhere on the road, he wouldn't know anything about it. We wouldn't know anything about it. It's been a complete disaster here, even without missing strangers to account for. Seven days ago, all cows gave back milk, and the milkman, who tasted it out of drunken stupidity, died in the pain of twisted bowels. There is something wrong with the spring. The water stinks of rotten eggs, and the cattle won't drink it. Of course not. Besides, some scoundrel threw some dead ball into the closest well, the one of the crossroads, so we've filled it with soil. I expect the demons are giving us trouble any way they can. Our cattle are dying of thirst. Children are going missing in your protected forest. The woodcutters saw some scarecrows, which they swore were alive. They spoke of angry faces and bare teeth. They were afraid to get too close and watch them from afar. Frightening things are going on in the woods. Fear that witches and demons have settled in your protected forest to do their wicked mischief. They are probably the ones who picked the bones of your servant who's gone missing. And you ask us, if you suspect us of being involved, as if we could kill and rob an honest man. It's upsetting, Sir William. We never touched your servant, and if we did, he was a wretched man smug and nasty and we have no food or water and our children are going missing okay this is a longer letter than i thought instead of serving your lady gelfry you should be home defending us and bringing us food you must have some gold lord that you are there is no one to protect us besides you the city lads only come to find new recruits and take out gold. They don't have the authority to do anything more. And end off, we give our lads and lasses they take. The whole village comes to say farewell, just like it's a funeral. None of them have returned home to the village yet. We are dying. So I'll tell you the honest truth, Sir William. We cannot live like that anymore, but we cannot die in such terrible conditions either. So we agreed with our neighbors to burn down your forest on the next new moon, your protected forest where the dark beasts live. We'll surround it, 
at it on fire from all sides and hire a wizard to steer the wind. We won't be put off just because the forest is protected or because no one may shoot game there or enter therein or cut down its trees. Of course, he'll be very angry at us for burning down your family forest because we've already been cutting its wood and shooting game there. But there is nothing else to eat and no other wood. We won't let the forest beasts steal our children. If you wish, come and execute me. Execute all of us. But we won't put up with this anymore. That step. Respectfully, the steward of Wick sold our village to Lord Sir William. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, the situation is dire, I would say. Ah, there is some fragment. We we have to show this to the um, who's he called to the guy? The you've spotted enemy. Let's wait. Then. Okay, let's get this demon army out of the way first. Ooh, they are fast. Okay, so these guys are in the front row. Once per turn per round before the action of any allied unit, a general can use an ability for a spell or a spell. Okay, don't show this tutorial again. Let's. Let's try that. Mm, did it work? Saving throw failed. Yeah, it worked. Hey, I tried to attack this guy. Uh, can we just attack it like that? Three to five, three to four. Mm -hmm. Get it, come on. Nah. Yay, we are victorious. We didn't lose anyone. That's good, I think. Ah, thank you. Now you're explaining how to recruit units. <laughs> this new victory has brought you more finance points, which can be used to bolster your army. To recruit new units, 
click the recruit button on the panel on the left at the bottom of the screen. Recruited units, blah, 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 blah. Okay, good. The sight of an old battle between the crusaders and demons is still strewn with thousands of corpses. The stench of death hangs thick in the air while the survivors lurch around the battlefield, looting whatever they can. The dead, after all, won't need their trinkets and keepsakes anytime soon. Okay. Ooh, there is a level four demon army. I'm probably not fighting this. Okay, that's... Ah, we got the shield bearers. Interesting. I mean, we can... No. What was it? How did we do this before? Can you tell me, please? Ah, I totally forgot about it again. How did we do this? Was it this? No. First of all, you get back and you get into front. No, we don't want to split the armies. We want to... Ah, there it is. We can have army size increased by one. Our army size is four, so we can have four units, unit types. Mm -hmm. And there is a level one unit demon thing. Yeah, let's, let's kick their asses as well. Okay, let's collect this. You fail to sneak past the enemy is prepared prepare to fight. Okay. Didn't want to do that, but yeah. <sighs> of course, let's kill us. No, we can't. Mulchif, kill Baphomet. Right. That was easy. Len, kill first, guys. In our back. Sila. Another cultist. This is a conjurer. Should be easy. This was easy, I think. That's that? Really? I don't think that we couldn't await them. I think they couldn't await us. Let's move on. <laughs> this was a nice fight. I really like these kind of fights. We get stuff and... 
Hmm. Let me go around them. Let's save game and see what happens if we move into one of the armies with our normal troops. Okay, we can go around. No, we don't want to. So now, let's rest like now. Start resting. Is it? Oh god. Really? Let's continue. Okay, army. Let's deal with the next demon army. Wait, three guys? Yay. Can you, uh, can we tell you to, uh, do like defensive fighting or something? How's this done? Retreat, inspect, eh. Oh, like this totally fan, yeah. So five to ten or one to two. Hmm. Doing more damage there. One bad voice. Ooh, fancy. Mm -hmm. Ooh, you can attack again. Ah, this is the infirmary. We can heal a hundred points. I see. So this is the reason why we got all our troops healed. Ah, so a bigger infirmary is also good because we can heal more people. Crusade morale. The morale stat reflects the general mood of the crusaders. Positive morale increases resources, income, and the number of troops available for recruitment, while negative morale decreases these numbers. 
moral changes depending on the moral banners. Okay, these are the moral banners, I think. Your army is currently carrying two banners. The banner of victories stays green while you defeat demon armies. Each victory over a demon army adds four days to the time the banner of victory stays green. Ah, so it's good to do a fight only every four days. The banner of the march on Drazen stays green while you defeat demon armies on the road to Drazen. Each victory over a demon army on the road to Drazen adds 10 days to the time the banner of the march on Drazen stays green. Okay. Each unit has its own combat morale. The starting value of which depends on the crusade moral. Various combat effects and spells can change combat morale on till the end of the battle. Positive combat morale grants the unit a chance to perform another action in the same turn, while units with negative combat morale have a chance to panic and lose their action or even flee. Undead units, as well as some others, do not have combat morale and thus are not affected by any effects that increases or decreases it. Okay. Thank you. Don't show this tutorial. Uh, probably, yeah, show the tutorial. Crusaders stumbled upon a group of ragged and exhausted scouts. They had set out on a patrol mission deep into the world wound, but then when Canabras was attacked, they found themselves cut off and surrounded by demons, surviving in, a, in such a hostile conditions was not easy. But the scout's spirits remained high, and they readily joined the commander's forces. Except, having defeated the enemy, the crusaders scatter across the battlefield in search of trophies. The officers keep an eye on the process so that all the valuable trophies go to the treasury and do not end up in the pockets of lucky soldiers. Really? Such unfriendly people we are. <laughs> okay, what's that? Demon army. Is this demon army? Oh, this demon army has a general. Capture the Villa Red Fort outpost. Oh, this is part of the of a quest. Nameless ruins, okay. Okay, let's move on with you. Let's enter the conundrum unsolved. Okay, um, let's see, is this a big map? Eh, not too big. Oh, there is loot. Okay, let's, let's just... See if we can find whatever is here. Okay, is this part of the world wound? Look a bit like that. Seems like something opened up. Oh, we can go inside into a cave. Okay. So let's just go here. And 
And let's move inside and see what we'll find. <clears throat> It's a cave, okay. So up north or south? Okay, there is nothing inside this part, okay. Looks interesting, looks like a trap. Ah, it's a puzzle. <laughs> Ah, slab of white symbol. Slab of white symbol. So we'll have to put some stuff on this. More slabs with white, with two white symbols even. And some more. Okay. Can he just... Can't you stay in the thing that we wear? Okay, these three are different from the others. They are rather clear where they go. I'm pretty sure about these go there, there, and here. Why can't you stay on this? Can we just... Oh. A stone slab with strange symbols. There is no magic in them, and yet they are definitely unique. Everything just says that. Stone slab looks worn out. The edges of the slab are rough, as if unfinished. And yet, this slab clearly has some kind of practical use. Okay, yeah. Okay. Really? Okay, um, this was probably easy, I think. <laughs> but here, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hands. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes. And we only have four slabs. Ah! But they all do they all look the same? No. They don't look the same. They are different, yeah. Yes, they are. Okay, um so let's see. 
Ah, there is something on the wall. Let's see, can we read this? No, we can't. <laughs> I mean, how should we? There's some kind of star on the downside and here as well. And upside we have some like a Elmeyer flask. And there is the Elmeyer downside. Oh interesting. And here is up this one down there. Okay. So, and this is the, the up from here. It's also up here. So it's like domino parts. Like you'll have to put them probably together. Let's put uh, this one here. Hmm, interesting. Ah, interesting. Yeah, pig, I know, I know. So this was wrong. What do we put this here and this here and there is nothing here then. Okay. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Okay, I should have noted myself which one I did. I did the Elmeyer cast flask down there. There are two stars down here, so let's do this one and see if it's possible. No. Okay. So it must be one of the two stars. This one is the one with the star down, and let's say these are stars up as well. So let's apply this one. Okay. This was easy. Then let's put this one in here. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. So, okay, this one's not working. <laughs> ah, 
Ah, but there are two parts. Oh, I'm stupid. You can put it like this and like that. Hmm. Did I put it always with the right hand or with the left hand? Uh, okay, let's start from the start. Okay, let's always use this upper hand first with the flask down. Apply. Okay, if we... Ah! <laughs> it even makes a difference to... Didn't work, did it? <laughs> no, didn't work. There must be something to open that. Mm. Okay, there is a. I. Okay, let's see. What? I don't see these symbols here. Do I? Okay, these was were easy. So they were clearly put there. Okay, uh, let's see. We have these symbols one, two, three, four, five. And no, this is always on in the middle. And it's always these four symbols in the same order. Is it? Yeah, it is. So there is no other symbols. In another order, it's all the same. Okay, there are some faces and more faces, and yeah, whatever. Hmm. If we look at these, is there? Yeah, this is the upper symbol, isn't it? Is this the upper symbol? Yes, it is. This is the star, this is the Elmer flask, and this is the whatever. Do we have all of these symbols there? Yeah, this is the air my flask. And the upper one of these is like this one, yeah. So the one that I looked at was looking like these two. Nope. Nope. Yeah, these two are the lower two. And these two are the upper two. These 
Who are the upper two? Hmm. In this direction, it's the same, isn't it? And it's R, but it's always free. Only free. And we have here also these four. Hmm, interesting. There are these two. At the end of here, and these two here. Probably we should continue these two like there. So, what's the symbols? Um, is this upside or downside? This is upside. No, it's not upside, it's downside. And this one as well. This is downside the upper symbol, and this is downside this symbol. Hmm. And here we've got the other two probably, don't we? No, this is also the flask, and can you go away, kitten, please? Come on, kitty, kitty. This is the flask plus the Pick. Let's call it the pick. Hmm. Well, you know what? <laughs> we could look into the internet. I mean, it's the internet, isn't it? <laughs> I don't have to uh, do this by myself. Okay, so this would be the pick and uh, the pick and the flask. And this would be the flask and the uh, how and the scales. Let's let's call him it the scales. And the stars they are not in these four. Okay, if we put the stars here. Is it like a Sudoku? Probably. Nope. Let's do the other star thing here. Wait. No, come out. Also not. How about if we apply it here? Ah, oh, now there's the stuff here and the flask here. But we don't want the flask here because it's there anyway. So let's take it out and take this one in. Mm -hmm. But on the other hand, this one must be a must be something double because there are two plus two. <laughs> And also here we're only three. Hmm. Okay, let's put here this one that is needed for this row. So we have here the stars and the scales and the flask. So here must be the pick. The pick. 
uh, this one. Now, is this the pick on the right side? Yeah. It's more or less on the right side. So now we have the pick, the stars, the thing, and the boom. <laughs> the pick, the snow, the snails. The stars. The stick in the floor. Hmm. Not like that. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, that's quite a conundrum. But let's see. Let's see if we open the internet <laughs> and we are looking for Wrath of the Righteous uh, Conundrum Conundrum Unsolved Puzzle <laughs> We find Conundrum Unsolved Puzzle Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. Do you see this? No, you see you still you still see this one. Yeah. You'll have to to follow me. <laughs> Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous one of a countless number of puzzles that you'll have to solve over the course of the game. Countless puzzles, number of puzzles, I'm pretty sure you can count them scheme of things. This particular one is not one of the hardest. Really? Far from it. But it can still trip up some of you. If so, then you should learn the basics of puzzles like these as soon as possible. I now feel sheepish because they tell me I'm stupid. <laughs> How to solve it? I have completely bungled this one up as pointed out by the comments. To solve the conundrum unsolved puzzle in Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous, you have to collect the slabs from the vases from in the room. First, the next step is to place the outer pieces, which all have a distinct shape that fits their respective holes in the floor. Yeah, well, we found that out. The part is not much of a problem. However, as pointed out by Righteous Tim below, thank you, Tim, the middle part is tricky. There are two rules here. The first one is that you have to lay the pieces like dominoes, meaning that you have two symbols touching each other. Well, I found this out myself. That you have to have the outer symbols inside the outer symbols inside the same row in the middle. They don't have to be touching each other, but they do have to be there. Ah. So it's the it's it's the opposite from what I thought. It mustn't be not there, but it must be there. Okay, let's see if we can find out ourselves how to how to do this. Okay, as this one has these two, we will have to have the scales and the flask in this and this position. The scales and the flask. And as we have a flask here, I would say the flask belongs here at this point. So let's try to get a flask here. Uh, there are two possible flasks, this one and this one. Both have not the uh, scales, so let's take this one. 
apply. Uh, but it's on the wrong side, so let's do it again, but like here. Uh, where, it is, where is it? There it is. Yeah, now we have it like this. That's good, because we did this as well, and this one. So now we just have to find here the scales. Here should be the scales. Okay, uh, scale, 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 scales. There is a scales. And there is scales. We have to take this one. Because... This one will be there. Yeah, because these two and these two out of each other. Ah! Take this puzzle. Ha! <laughs> Ancient ghost. Oh, this was nearly well done by me. And I totally forgot about the clock again. So let's let's talk this over with the ancient ghost and then stop for today. It was easy, wasn't it? Really? Was it? Uh, simple puzzle, simple solution. But it was just the beginning. Its purpose was to awaken curiosity. A translucent figure peers out of thin air clad in a loose fitting robe. Its face is hidden behind a simple, unadorned mask. Okay. Oh, puzzles, I love them. And why didn't you help me, Nenyo? Why? Tell me. <laughs> Mortals are not meant to unveil the secrets of the universe and grasp the meaning of creation. But is this really so? Of course not. The secrets of the universe will only be revealed to the most worthy of mortals. Prove yourself and be the first for the, whom all the secrets of the world are revealed. Yes, yes. What do we need to do? The heart of mystery is located west of here. Solve the puzzle and you will comprehend the forbidden knowledge. A map of an area that looks sparkly like the world wound appears in the figure's hands. A single dot shines brightly on the map. You can count on me, translucent masked figure. I'll solve any puzzles you have, so you better prepare some good ones. Heart of Mystery has been revealed. Okay, who are you? Susan remains silent. Uh, what are you? Simple puzzle, simple solution. The heart of mystery is located west of here. The map is obviously outdated. Comprehend the meaning of creation for the most worthy of mortals. The heart of mystery proves all the secrets of the world. I think you've broken it. <laughs> It is into thin air. Okay. We should have asked the right questions. Ah, uh, and something's opened. Yay. This means treasure. Treasure. Loot. It's a hide barding. <gasps> it's armor for my pig. It's Elven notes for the collector thing, the blind elf guy. Inventory, pig. You know what? There is, there is no. Why can't you put this on? Medium armor, height armor, height parting. Why can't you wear this? Can't be equipped by this character. 
Why, Philomukes? Why? Is it because I didn't give you the ability to wear stuff? Toughness. Armor proficiency light barding. Ah, because it's a medium barding. Too bad. That's really bad. Look at this beautiful peak. Oh no. <laughs> okay. My dear friend, I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see each other again soon. Um, until then, see you. Bye.